Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the extreme move that we've seen to the downside here on Bitcoin and I'm going to be covering for you all my targets here on the Bitcoin chart right now. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this and I'll also throw in some education of how I've been trading this over the last uh, 48, 24 hours, uh, which has actually been very well. So I <laughs> hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, so we can obviously all agree now we have, we have very safely dropped down outside of that big descending triangle okay drop from the descending triangle there was a little heads up on litecoin obviously dropping heavily uh, a few hours before the bitcoin drop okay so i managed to get into a short here on bitcoin but prior to the drop um but you know if you didn't get into a short if you didn't short the breakdown for whatever reason if you didn't short the breakdown didn't get into a short or you were long you know the worst thing you can do is beat yourself up and, and spend the next 24 hours crying about losing that trade i mean a, a good trader is going to accept the loss and just move on to the next trade straight away okay we obviously found our bottom at 8,012. What could have you done in this point? Okay. Obviously, we were a little bit oversold. We saw our first bounce move down into uh, the, the following day. Okay. So from here, okay, you, the trade is not difficult. Okay. If you're following people on Twitter that are claiming this is the futures gap filled, the, 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 the decrease in price is over, we're moving back up. You just have to be really careful of what source of information i guess you're following i was very blatantly clear i was looking to continue loading up my shorts on this move and that's exactly what i did okay so we'd obviously seen that move to the up and the, well our, our original move move back up and then our low where was this low coming in really really nicely at the golden pocket is there a surprise right here no not really <laughs> so we had obviously seen our lows 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 three higher lows in a row you got a little light indication on litecoin again moving up and you saw this move to the upside okay coming up into the golden pocket from high to low so that's a golden pocket to golden pocket absolutely perfect yep as normal and uh you know i made it clear to my group itself that uh this was obviously yesterday i was looking to short where was my uh post about this i was looking to short at 8500 okay why 8500 uh because literally it was our golden pocket region okay and we can obviously see overnight we come up and we hit 8500 very nice indeed got uh some short positions filled not all but the majority of uh, my short positions filled nevertheless and uh we obviously saw this move down into the day okay when did we say what did we then see from here from our low to our high up to our high again move down onto the one-to-one -one extension of this move okay so from here we're hitting the one-to-one -one extension i'm locking in 15 percent profits here i actually took a scalp long as well okay and this is where you have to be very very quick and on the ball okay so it's like a scalp long in and out it was literally a five minute trade okay but we obviously saw this move to the upside and this is one that i actually gave to everybody on twitter uh obviously this guy asking me what's your next move boss so we've obviously seen that move down okay got in a quick long, long scope and my next move was still loading up on shorts because i still expect price to go down and what happens price has very clearly now gone down so what was really nice if we zoom in here we actually saw the long lower wick and then what do you do here you come up to the highs take out the stops and send it back downwards so oh oh my god i just love <laughs> I said to my group today like i'm gonna kill this trading range i'm literally just gonna boss it so hard and i have uh and that's not for me trying to brag it's just i yeah i'm so confident on these trades right now uh it's really really nice um so yeah we can clearly see now um if we zoom out a second let's just go over some important support and resistances if we drag this fib down now i'll be saying that uh 83 obviously a really big resistance okay the high of you know you have to always acknowledge the high 8800 uh but yeah really around this eight eight thousand five hundred big big resistance now if you want to add in your uh standards okay 382 coming in at 8140. I would expect a little bit of a rise after we've seen this continued uh, pressure to the downside. So I am expecting a little bit of a rise, uh, which, which for me is still a short, but uh, nevertheless a rise in price. Uh, but my targets are, are still hovering around this 7,400 to 7,000, 9,000, eh, 6,900 being the overall golden pocket, obviously from high to low, okay, or low to high in this case. Have you seen this new update on TradingView? How it's this is like gliding along? That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's random but yeah obviously our golden pocket coming in here this is still my target um basically for the move okay and i'm, I'm looking at this as a wxy correction okay so very very yeah simple just keeping it really easy um so yeah that is obviously that post i wanted to cover oh yeah this is another one that i made a pred prediction of of that really i did believe that price was going to fall and it has 
very much felt so that was pretty nice as well um just a little update of things that i'm doing now as well if you're interested in my group as well i have also started doing these like daily updates okay where i'm listing like what the elliott wave count is whether the, what the time frames are your global and local support and resistances daily resistances exponential moving averages putting in all the hard work for you basically and all you need to do is is enter trades very easy um but uh, my notes today absolutely perfect if i'm honest still and this was posted this morning still adding to my bitcoin short as i believe price was going down price has gone down i was in engine okay engine apologies uh enigma basic attention token ontology and phantom and guess what all of those four altcoins i packed apart from ontology actually three three percent plus gains look at phantom I'll, I'll use phantom as the example because this was a perfect literally 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 so nice okay what we saw phantom was coming up in a nice parallel channel higher highs higher lows you come up to hit the daily target and you sell off this could not have got any better that was why i'm using this one it was just absolutely perfect literally 113 uh, extension so you obviously were coming down to the 1133 okay oversold bullish divergences rise back up to the daily level what you see in here a perfect support resistance flip these are the sort of trades that you're looking for these really 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 add up <laughs> like today like this is what i'm all about if, if you miss this move do not worry about it you could have made just as much money in the last 24 hours. Even if you lost money on this drop, you could have made it all back and more off of today. And this is like just a general tip for trading. If you do lose money, you, the worst thing you can do is is try about it. And, you know, I, I don't want to be mean to people, but the worst thing you can do is like overthink it, re have regrets, revenge trade, etc. No, you just want to clear your mind, enter the next trade and... Yeah, that, that, that's what you need to do if you want to succeed in trading. You can't just beat yourself up because you're never, ever going to make it as a trader if, if that's basically what you're doing. Um, <laughs> so not to end on a downer, but uh, yeah, as for, for me personally, I just strive, strive so much for perfection. I want to be the best in what I do, in everything that I do. And uh, you can be the judge of this, I guess, of how, uh, how I'm doing at trading right now. But yeah, for me, I just want to be the best period uh so yeah i love 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 this space the volatility for me is absolutely perfect to be trading right now uh so i'll end uh with support and resistances that one should be looking at uh for the next probably 24 hours on the very short term obviously you're looking down for a a, a lower support level seven five down to six nine okay being the golden pocket that would be my area of support uh, the, the low of this wick obviously coming in right now at seven seven three six okay but um yeah, we'll have to see if that holds. I'm, I'm expecting a little bit of a rise, if I'm honest. And then we'd obviously be looking at the low of these wicks around 8.2. Okay, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, 8.5. You could look at the golden pocket from the high to low here as well, which was coming in at 8.4. Okay, so those are the key levels that I'd be looking to trade over the next few hours. Um, you know, there are still opportunities in and out on, on altcoins. Okay, believe that, honestly... Uh, Ethereum and Litecoin are, are nice for scalping, and this is not something that I'd say long-term trading, but scalping, uh, really, really nice. And I wish I would, uh, the thing is, in the group chat, there's just so many posts, literally posts, posts, posts all day long, so I can't really find it, but this was what a funny one from today when I did this, this, oh, you can't even read it. Uh, you can't even read it. I'm, I'm just going to end here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, the scalping right now is really good across the board. Um, So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I haven't come across, I, I really sometimes it's hard for me to control my ego and uh, i really hope this hasn't come off across as a video of me saying look at me i'm so good at trading it's not it's not meant for that uh so i hope that you've found benefit uh some beneficial uh things of how i've traded this over the last 24 hours obviously i've been really really transparent with my trades as well i made it very clear that i was shorting you know i couldn't have made my trades any more clearer and if you've made money along with me then absolutely great so i hope that you haven't taken this video the wrong way and it has helped you overall okay and what i could do as well is if you're interested and uh what I'll do is I'll say if, if 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 people are interested, I will release a uh, sort of a paid members group video that I've done to the public for free as well. And uh, you can see the sort of content that I do. And I don't know, something like this. I just hope that people are not taking this video the wrong way. I'm just going to wrap up there and just say thank you so much for the support. I know that the majority love it. So uh, thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart. Cheers, everybody. Hope that you are making some money on this. If not, then... Uh, yeah, keep practicing, keep at it, don't give up, basically. Uh, you know, everybody struggles at the start. You don't just become a profitable trader overnight, I guess. So, yeah, uh, thanks, everybody. Cheers, and I'll catch you in the next uh, technical analysis. Cheers. Good night. Bye.